Hello, my name is Daniel, and this is a small tutorial about how do you make, um, how do you make your own normal maps, uh, in order to apply some geometry who doesn't have anyone, or you created your own texture and you want to create a normal map with them. So you're gonna use the Nvidia texture tools for Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this one uh, allows you to create your own normal map. It's free. You can download it on this page I will leave a link in the description below. It works with Photoshop and all these versions as you can see up to CS6 So if you have a newer version, I don't know if it's gonna work Anyway, you have a very good description here, and I'm not going to into details here uh, Because uh, I want you to open the page and check it out for yourself Anyway, let's go to our icon here and you see we have a prop here who doesn't have any uh, normal maps as you can see you only have a, a diffuse map here and that's all there's no normal map no specular maps and anything else so what we're gonna do is create a normal map on the base of the diffuse map here so we're gonna select the diffuse map here and we're gonna click this icon here the launch icon make sure when you use this icon that you have uh, Photoshop assigned to it if you don't the program will ask you to assign it. then the only thing you have to do is search for your Photoshop uh, shortcut or directly the link there in in the the X link in the program file so it's assigned and this button here will automatically open your Photoshop in my case I already have assigned so it will open it my Photoshop is open here but it will open it anyway so yes so here we have our image so you can see here down here it has this uh, this this uh, uh, how you call that this lock here but it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't influence it. so it's easy if you have you um, Nvidia tools installed you should have it in filters here up there you go down to Nvidia tools and just click on the normal map filter there you got our Nvidia tools so this is all we see so the configuration depends on what you want in my case uh, a height to normal map you can play around and see what comes out in different maps but my one uh, is normally very rough and I can choose between this one and this one so you can just play around you have a 3d preview here wait a little bit there you go but that doesn't say much to you does it well as you can see the preview uh, shows you how uh, strong the image is going to be but if you want to really see it how rough it is just click ok let it load and you can see it goes very into details here and you see those borders here those are deformations and they're pretty much good so we got our normal map right now and the only thing we need to do in this case is save it up So, um, we're gonna save uh, our file up. And I already got a save thing here up. Just, <coughs> it's a JPG, save the normal. Yes. Then we go to our um, iClone. Open our, um, the bump map here. Was nothing, so we double click on it. One, two. And now it opens the folder because I have it pre assigned. Select our normal map and load it in and select normal map down here in the selection there we go so we have a normal map assigned on this though I don't like it so much it looks more rough than it should be um, the deformation is way too strong for my uh, thing also it's uh, quite shiny that becomes because the specular map down here see it's making the thing more shiny than it should be but we can actually add a, and create a specular map easily. I can show you that as well in the same tutorial here. And for example, we don't like this map. Uh, go back and just go to step backward and try again. This time we're going to make it less rough. And this. Uh, four samples maybe let's check yeah see the map is less rough now it's more tiny so it shows more details let's just save this up like it is and see if that works for us mm. 
Same step. Open it. Normal map. Okay, and see, now it looks better. See, it's more tiny, so it's less rough. It looks more realistic now, like it should. Now, uh, we can go directly to here and go to image. Step backward, and we, uh, for example, go make this here black and white. Click OK. Now we go to the image and go to expression. And now we play around with this a little bit here. Yes. Okay, this could be a bump map, or in my case, it's a specularity map. Are we gonna save that? Specular, save. Let's go back and just load in our specular map here. Yeah, we have to search that again. Well, that's funny. Ah, uh, second and I'm back. And here I am. This is our specular map. So we loaded that in. Now we can play around here with the specular things. So yeah. It's actually wood. It shouldn't sh be shiny at all. So we put the uh, specular a little bit down here. There we go. I think it looks good. Let's check around a little bit with the lights. Okay, I think we're done here. So we made in just a couple of minutes a normal map and a specularity map for our prop. So there you go. That's all I got to show to you. I hope it's useful for you and see you in the next video. Bye.